welcome back everyone this is Sam today we are going to learn how to create keyboard events in JavaScript we are going to create a keyboard controller to move or rotate the image the prerequisites for this tutorial is some images like this I am gonna use this uh, this image okay let me create a new folder here this is my sixth video and inside this folder resources and I'm gonna copy this here yes okay let's create a new HTML document to what HTML let's insert the HTML snippet yep title and let me add a image tag on the HTML document cool.png and with this 100 and style position absolute As I already told in the earlier lessons, this is a very powerful positioning type which allows you to literally place any page element exactly where you want it. Let's write some JavaScript. First, we need to create an event listener to listen the keyboard events. So that window.on key down move object so this move object method will be triggered when the user is pressing any key in the keyboard let's write the definition for this method the method name is move object argument is event what we are going to do in this lesson is when we press the keys such as left arrow right arrow up arrow and down arrow we are going to move the image of ob image object accordingly so we need to handle those keys if the user is pressing any key in the keyboard the move object method will be triggered so we need to handle inside this method for every key in the keyboard there is a key code so i'm going to get the key code here We can differentiate each key by its key code. Let me define some constant for the left, right, up and arrow keys here. Val left. This is the key code for this left key and right key 39. Let me arrange this. Okay, this is. Arrow. this is down arrow 37 up arrow is 38 39 the key code for the down key is 40 for the easy accessibility of the image element I am creating this object equal to document dot I'm sorry get element by id oh sorry we missed to give the id there okay object is the id here and the most speed is 20 we can change uh, we can change it later if it is needed now we complete the method definition if key equal to left key then object dot style dot left equals object dot 
offset left and speed this offset lift property returns the lift position relative to the left side the offset parent element and we are setting this value to the lift and and we need to do the remaining case so let me copy these things else this one else this one else and this copy and this will be my up key this will be my right key and down key so left key is handled now now we need to handle the up key so for up key we need to change this left to top and top okay now it's fine now we need to change this to minus two plus yeah all right and this to top again this top and this will be plus so if you press the down key it will increase that top value so it will be it, it will move down if you press the up key it will uh, subtract the 20 that is speed speed is 20 here so it will subtract 20 from the offset top so it will move uh, upwards so same logic is applicable here also let's check it out in the browser okay the image both is wrong yeah perfect now I'm controlling the object using this arrow keys it's working fine now I'm gonna add a rotation functionality to this now if I press right key with the alt key it should rotate clockwise for the left key and alt key combination it should rotate anti-clockwise let me define a variable for the rotation uh, degree calculation degree equal to zero if event dot alt key and key is equal to left arrow means I mean left key means degree minus equal to 10 object dot style dot transform now we need to open the value here so it will rotate the object by anti-clockwise okay let me add a right key also instead of left key it will be right and instead of minus it will be plus and we need to else add else here okay fine let's check this in action right left down up no clockwise is not working oh sorry it should come here let's check this right left down up clockwise anti-clockwise perfect thanks for watching this video hope you enjoyed it please subscribe to this channel bye bye